The Schmengi's career started at the age of seven, when they began honing an act which, for the first time, included music. They were perfecting a homemade sound, modeled after their first musical influence, Lionel Hampton. These instruments were called gelkis, which in English means jars. And they were like the xylophone. You see, back in Latonia, the only records we could get were the Lionel Hampton records. Don't ask me why. So all the kids would play the gelkis so they could be like Lionel Hampton and his xylophone. And you see, the kid that got to be the best on the gelkis would go on the, uh, on the vaudeville tour. Children were the mainstay of Lutonian vaudeville, and two good Gelkis players commanded top price and top billing. Because young Yash couldn't hit a jar without smashing it, the Schmengis were at a disadvantage. They had to find something for Yash to do while his brother Stan dazzled the audience on the Gelkis. A variation on the Cossack dance was Yasha's first attempt to save the act. They would have achieved mild success at best had it not been for one thing. His name was the Amazing Rollo. He played the Geltkis and did the Cossack dance at the same time. He was very popular. To this day, we've never seen anything quite like it. The Schmengis would try it again. <laughs> 